garage talks again. This is uh, in front of the garage talk. This one's going to be uh, high octane media. We took a trip around. We're doing some mud interviews today and uh, and some garage talks. So I'm here with Levi, right? Levi, yeah. pleasure to meet you. This is pleasure. actually the first official time I've met you. Man. Yeah, it really is. Seen yeah. you around a lot, but right, right. And uh, and you run this noise complaint truck. This has been a a project yeah. to use for how long? Uh, this will be the second year racing it. It was a bog truck for like a year and a half or something. Yeah. I blew it up. So it's like, yeah, right. I've only really had it like four years or whatever. Right. Four, four years. And, and this is actually like the third configuration. Four years, in four years. three configurations. Yeah. Right. Right on. So, uh, so this year we, we decided you were going to go out with the old and, and do a totally different chassis <clears throat> and, and, and try to do a little bit different, uh, lighter more low slung design is that what we're after here yeah you know as time goes on you know i'm trying to get more into the more into just the racing side of things i got a jeep sure. i want to build for a bog truck you know sure people told me a long time ago like it's hard to do both with one and i totally see that now you know so yep. the old the old rig had good parts so i was like ah you know i think if i just do a new chassis i think it could it could be something you know Hell yeah. so oh yeah it's so like figured start over is just as easy and yeah you know you could cut chassis up and do all the sure. changing but christ how much time are you gonna have into that right. you know it's right like this could the old one could work for somebody and start right. a new one you know and this one you configured this one's narrower than the old one correct narrower yeah that's a deal like so i was gonna run i'm cheap you know so Heck like yeah. i'm gonna run the same body <laughs> yep well square bodies are like a mile wide they're right. awesome right but they're like a mile wide so i was like i'm gonna narrow this thing up and people are either gonna hate it or they're gonna love it but i, ah, I like it I you know the cool. old truck it's like 18 inches of just body supports right you know it's right. like on each side right so like, i don't really <laughs> yeah. need that so yep yeah, figured you'd narrow well, that's, it up. That's how your tires end up being outside of everything now. Yeah, and I As kinda, opposed to being under everything. Yeah, and I had to to get it a little lower, you know. And sure. I didn't want to, like, hog the fenders way out. That's sure. lame, kind of, in my opinion. But right. Yeah. So this, well, as, as far as the stock square body goes compared to what this configuration is, there, there's some square body guys that would definitely say you hacked quite a bit yeah, off yeah, of this yeah, one they already. Would, they'd you say know? you wrecked it, Yeah. You know? Apparently I, blazers are pretty hard to come by, so I think I think yeah. square body guys would be. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm I'm a square body guy and I'm a blazer guy, and I still think this is cool as hell. Yeah, it's it's so. something, you know. Like I had this vision, and I'm like, oh, I think this is. I think it's gonna be cool. Hopefully, I can pull it off. And right on. I am not a body guy, so it's it's Frankenstein, but yeah, I think it's coming together. But you're still planning on doing a little bit more finesse to it, and then you're yeah. gonna, you're gonna paint it up. Yeah, paint paint scheme or yep. Same, same, scheme? same. It's all going to be tan. I think I'm going to leave the hood black. Yeah. Just something different. And I'm sure. going to call it 2.5. So I'll paint okay. 2.5 on it. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, pretty much the same. Heck yeah. That's pretty cool. So what, what got you into this? So you, you said it started out as a bog truck and it, it um, hasn't had much of a life as a bog no, truck. So. Like, honestly, I had some street cars and stuff and I was trying to play street outlaws and I got in trouble. I got busted street racing my uncle yeah and i'm like okay well this is just gonna keep getting me into trouble and i don't i ain't really into drag cars and i had the mud truck this was a mud truck at the time yeah motor blew up so i was like okay i'm chasing more power more power like everyone you know and i was like how can i get power to the ground and be legal at this you know i was like well we got this mud truck that's probably the best way so right. i asked my son which you know he's young so he's gonna sure. go with whatever sounds cooler he's i was like should we build a race truck or should we just put a new motor in the bog truck he's like yeah let's do a race truck so i was like right on good enough for me so that was that so you had you pretty much had one year of configuring between your your original bog truck into what the original racer was no it took two years to build it because okay. you know it's expensive and sure. i've got kids and a family so it, right. it took two years to save up and build it so i had some downtime from bog in there gotcha but yeah i raced it last year and seemed to hold up good and, but i think everyone's trying to get faster you know i, I like, think that's you know the more and more i watch this sport evolve it's like it's like shave an inch off shave 20 pounds off shave these guys are are you guys are all so um so competitive and you're pushing each other to the limit with yeah. with every one of these classes you know this is a one ton truck here and and the one ton truck class uh you know the evolution of that and just in the past few yeah. years has gone from 
you know, an old leaf sprung bouncer to cross a couple of bumps to, to stuff like this. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's. I talk shit to a couple of the megas I know that are like, I'm good friends with like Ty and sure. that secret weapon, you know, we yep. kind of got to be good friends. I'm like, let's fucking race. I'm going to take you out, you know, right, right on. even though they make like twice the power and stuff. But right. I don't know. It's fun. But, you know, I mean, if you're looking at power to weight ratios and, yeah, and, and right stuff there. like that, you know, I mean, right there's, there. they're comparable anyway. Yeah. You know. And it only takes one slip up, especially on a on a good obstacle course That's race. That's right. You know, yeah. The, the the little guy every once in a while takes the takes the big chunk out of the big guy. That's yep. that's the fun stuff. Ties a loose cannon enough where I'm like, I'm, right. gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take you one of these days. Oh yeah. yeah. What what do you think about the freestyle side of it? I know you guys compete. Well, you compete in a different class than than they do as far as the the one ton according to you know yeah. to. I I like freestyling, but like. I just, I don't take that serious, you know, like okay. I'm just doing it for fun. That's like, your place for me. to go out Like I can go out and I have the whole bog to myself, right. you know, or whatever, right. you know, so like that's fun. Yeah. But you know, this thing isn't going to be able to handle like monster jam type jumps, right. you know, like right. I, I've always wanted to jump into a bog, you right. know, so like yeah. I want to do that. Right. I did it one time last year at Krabby Farms, but yeah. so like I'll probably freestyle a couple times, but it's nothing like, oh, I'm going to completely yard sale this thing right, you know right. for a trophy but because it's it's expensive to fix it yeah you still got to depend on it you're, you're running a whole a whole race series this year right you're, yeah a couple kind of yeah. like i'm doing the mud rhythm and yep. whatever built to beat does yep. and then we're doing this out of state premier premier yep. yeah yeah the premier series right so and when we we had ty earlier we came from his place over here and you're you're running with him uh, yeah through the through that series again um what do you think? Ty's kind of the the one the the driving force behind it. He's probably the one that said, "Hey guys, we're gonna go do this." Yeah. But like you guys are set up to have three trucks on a trailer and yeah. and go out and, and make this an actual. You're gonna compete in the whole entire series, and it goes. It's like, what is it? It's Pennsylvania, Virginia. How many well, places you go? <laughs> they have like this world finals race right at the end of the year, and you have to. To make that one, you have to be in three of their normal series races, which sure. they have like six or something. Yep. So we're doing Dennis Anderson's North Carolina, leaving the trucks out there so we can make the Virginia race because those are like two hours away or sure. something from each other. Yep. And then there's a race in Ohio that we're going to. And then the finals is like in Georgia or yep. <laughs> South, yep. South Georgia. So that's yeah. a haul. Yeah. But they're all kind of a haul, really. So. Sure. What, what do you think of that for for somebody that came into this thing i mean realistically if you look back it wasn't that long ago and no. it was just it was just mud bogging for yeah. you um and now you, you get into these race series and you you, you kind of cut your teeth on it and do really really well and now you, you you knock the thing in the head this year you come out with this contraption and now you're like it's super weird dude honestly. yeah like, <laughs> yeah came on hot real fast and right i don't know it's it's exciting right i'm we, just trying to take advantage of the opportunities because that's really what it was you know like ty hit me up last year like hey you know i had a couple trucks lined up to go to new york but they backed out or whatever couldn't make it like you want to go and i was like well, how many times are you gonna right, get this opportunity right, yeah. so like i went and then it just kind of kept escalating like that so sure kind of been riding his coattails on this but heck yeah heck it's yeah. been cool so and as long as it works and as long as you got the time to do it you know i mean yeah what the heck? Where you right? you make time, like yeah. you know, it'd be yeah. cool to chill in the summer times, probably. Right. But right. do a lot of mud bogging. But when you're in this invested, you know, it's like I want to run my sh as oh, much as absolutely. I can. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. No, this this thing is super neat. I I can't believe the progression that I've seen. You know, uh, like I said, I, I'm I'm the the K5 Blazer. I, I love square bodies of all kinds, but the Blazers have always had a soft spot in my heart. And like I saw this thing and. And Sloan says to me, he calls me on the phone, and he's like, yeah, there's some guy out here with a Suburban. And I'm like, that ain't no damn Suburban, man. I'm like, come on. It's like, yeah, get, get behind this. <laughs> Don't you see what's actually going on here? So, it, you know, and then the flip side of that is we've talked to some guys that have been around the sport for, for 20 and 30 years, and they were just like, where did this, this Levi kid come from? And, you know, it was yeah. like two years ago, nobody knew. You probably hadn't raced more than one race. No, no. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely been weird, but. You know, I got to give all those guys credit because, you know, just from meeting them from Boggs and stuff, like yeah. the Newmans and the, sure. you know, Partlows and, you yep. know, all these guys that have been whatever in the sport for a long time, you know, like 
you know, obnoxious. He let me peep around his truck at sure. clients and stuff yep. and all yep. those guys. So it's like, you yeah, ask them and all of them are pretty cool. Like, oh, yeah. they all like, yeah. will give you a little bit of insight you, or you, information. You know what I've always, I, I've always thought this was awesome about the, our, I call it our mud family and it's, a, it's the mud community in general, but it, it doesn't matter if you're a racer, if you're a bogger, if you, you know, like I said, at one point in time, I called these guys the stupid jumpy trucks. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, it still it doesn't matter we all give each other a little bit of ribbon and we all and we can all take it usually we all got a little yep. thick skin when it comes to that stuff but really when it comes right down to it you can ask just about any of these guys any real for real question like hey yeah. is this safe if i did that yeah and they'll show you hey this is how i got around that on my rig this is what i did yeah and and it's crazy to me as competitive as that race series can be and all of these race series are getting you know like we said shaving a couple pounds off here just every little thing counts yeah um, to be that competitive, but then to turn around and, and it's, it's everybody will tell you exactly what their secret is, you know, to, to, to an, an extent, extent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. they're, they're not going to tell you the secret necessarily, but they'll give you a, a good indication on how to get there. Yeah. And that, that to me is, it's, uh, it's a special breed of redneck that we hang out with. I <laughs> yeah. think, you know, <laughs> they're, yeah. uh, they're, they're a little, as much as we make it look like it's a grudge match, it really it's it's a good time for, yeah it's a good you know, time it, and you know like people are always like oh you got to support the sport and stuff like that you know like to me supporting the sport is helping other people get their trucks right. to that level because like i want the race field to be tight you know right. i don't want to see people get their doors blown off i want like close fucking racing you hell know? yeah yeah so i just try to you know like do my little bit of parts whatever little knowledge i can help like right. try and tell someone something you know but well, two years in it, you should still be. I don't really have that much. Say, you, should, but... you should be getting a lot of yeah. a lot of information given to you yeah. still, and I'm still be like, "Hey guys, this one worked, <laughs> yeah. right?" Yeah, still yeah. learning a lot. Heck yeah, I think you never quit learning. I mean, that's that's right. that's one thing that's cool about it. You know, I mean, it, it takes me. I'm the same way. I'm 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 on the the cheaper build side of things. Like I, I'm, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, I'm I might take eight years to get my truck built, but. But I'm gonna have what I can afford that that That's year, right. and, and if what's stuck in my head might not be what's stuck in everybody else's. But it, it's nice for me because I just bog them anyway. You know, I don't yeah. I don't have to worry about the ergonomics or something like this. Yeah, I can't wait for this to be done. I'm like, I bought my son a Jeep CJ7. He's 10 or yeah. he's 11 now. I bought it when he was 10. Right on. So like, we're gonna build a bog truck out of that, but it is just gonna be like leaf spring, one ton, yep. 44. So you know, and like, right on. Back to the old school, because yeah. like that shit's like simple fun. You know? Right, right. And it, it, and honestly, if you got enough horsepower to perform, I mean, one tons are plenty to turn yeah. some 44s. You know, I mean, you can you can make a lot of things happen in the mud yeah. bog with. No, it'll be set up good, but yeah. it's gonna be like a simple rig. Right. I kind of miss that, you know, just going out with the boys and holding it to the floor all day. Right. And, if right. it gets pulled on the trailer, who cares, you know? Wow, that, that sort of stuff. I think in the, the grassroots side of what, what we do, um, there, there's a huge need for the, the fun and the just go out yeah. and play and, and, and bring it back to where we were when, when I was in high school and we, we'd get stuck out in, in, on, like on the logging trails and stuff. And everybody had to remind each other as we were yanking four or five rigs out, hey, guys, we got to drive that to school on Monday, you know? <laughs> like, Sorry. like. Yeah, it's cool that you finally got 44s underneath your street truck, but you still got to make it back and forth to school until the end of the year. Yeah. You know? So that's that's the stuff that we're bringing it back to the old school. And it's still awesome to see this stuff and to see the progression that you made, you know, just in a couple of years with with what you're doing with with a race truck and 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 a whole new chassis again this year and yep. and, and trying something new. And I, I think it's super cool. I'm super happy that I got a chance to meet you and actually dig around and look at this thing up close. You know, I, yeah. We, we when we get busy with our summer we we don't we miss a lot of stuff when we're at an event because we got to get this race in or we got to get that stuff in so with these garage talks we've been able to come around and bs with people that we wouldn't normally have a chance to talk to you're busy getting ready you got the butterflies about going out and racing and, <laughs> yeah. and i'm running around trying to do an interview well, i'm not going to get an interview from you then yeah. but but now we can sit we got a little time to bs before we got on camera and and this is the stuff that's that's fun for me and it's it's fun to to get a hold of somebody like you that, like I said, this is really the first official time that we met and, yep. and talked and BS. And, and now you're definitely going to be one of the guys that, you know, we, we, we've done a spotlight for you now. Now we got a new one that we're going to do again. And, and this is the kind of stuff where it's like, yeah, heck yeah. These guys are part of my community too, you know? So it, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a, a great way for us to, to actually formally get introduced to you. Yeah. Um, while we got you on here, do you have, 
do you have any certain sponsors that may maybe help you along the way or is this just a a, a dream and a and a shoestring budget i'm and... yeah i'm in the <laughs> middle of wrangling up some sponsors for the year so okay. like i haven't really solidified any yet so, gotcha but, gotcha yeah, we're kind of kind of winging it so right. far but so if any of the square body guys that we all know and love have a bank account and, and want to, you know, donate some money to a, to a, a guy that uh, just rebuilt his race truck for the second time in two years. Yeah. Um, absolutely. I'm sure there's a way they can hit you up, find you on Facebook. You got a, a Facebook page just for my shop stuff. I call it Janelle's Jalopies. Right on. Like Joshua, my son and me, you know, yep. but yep. Uh, yeah, my buddy told me to start it because he's like, oh, you're actually building and people might like to follow along. So heck yeah, it's just, you know, give a little insight and right. shed some light on the truck mostly. But I do got other projects we're getting to. Like I got a 52 Chevy car and a oh, that cool. Jeep project. So yep. I just stay busy in this little shop. Yeah. You know? that, that's the other thing I like about these, these shop interviews that we're doing. You know, a, a lot of people would see this, you know, in, in honesty, <clears throat> all honesty, a one ton truck, like I said, five, six years ago was a pretty simple thing compared to what this thing is. Yeah. But to see something of this caliber come out of that little garage, yeah, that that's a feat in itself. And it's super cool that you, we actually get to run around and see you guys in your natural element and what, you, what you're up against to reel this thing in and out of there and, and you know, yeah. how much room <laughs> this is going to take up when yeah. it's in there, you know. And, a little 12 by 24 and right. cul-de-sac everyone's retired on. <laughs> right. That's why I call it noise complaint. Like, it started as a joke, you know. Right. Like we'd roll it out of the garage and everyone's retired on my street, you know. Sure. I don't know if they saw the joke, but they, they're <laughs> right. cool. They're cool They, with they it. might not have thought it was funny yeah. at first. They're cool with it now. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. Anything else you want to touch on before we get off of here no i just uh i appreciate you coming out and doing the interview like like i said it's been a fast couple two years so right. it's, it's weird i feel like a nobody in this sport compared to how many people have been doing it for their whole lives or right forever you know so it's, i appreciate it you know no, it's cool. it, it never hurts to throw a little limelight on the new guy and i mean honestly with you producing something like this out of that shop with a, a basically a, a one-ton build that this thing is this thing's super neat. I mean, we've had the chance to take a look around it, you know, and, and there's a lot of thought that goes into making this thing safe and making yeah. this thing light. And I think personally for, you know, for me, I've been around mud bogging for 25, 30 years, you know, and it impresses me. I think it's really cool. Thanks. There's so, a lot of guys that led the way that I followed little right? bits off of, you know, there, there always has to be that first guy that did this, you know? Yeah. Um, that, that's, that's the cool part about it is a lot of them guys, the first guy that did this, He'll tell you exactly how he did it, and he'll tell you what you you don't want to do, and yeah. and you know maybe yeah. try this next, you know. Yeah. Um. So it's it's fun to pick people's brains, and it's fun to come around and see this stuff when it's when it's all the way complete. You don't have an engine in her yet. No, we just uh, you know what? I just picked up my new cylinder heads and flow tested them today, so we're gonna put the motor back together and dyno it uh, the thirteenth. Okay. At noon, and then put it back in. So nice. It's pretty much wrapped up. I mean, it looks like a Frankenstein pile right now, but it's close. Just plumbing, right. wiring, put the motor in perfect so yeah it's almost there nice it's always good to feel like like i know this winter didn't really exist it seems which like is to me. crazy you know but, yeah yeah it's... but but you know I, we we were talking about that when we were at ties i'm like well you know it's, it's really it's the beginning of march most other years we'd be dealing with a couple feet of snow outside yeah. and we'd be dealing with well we're gonna have frost for another month and you know now we're in places in the southern minnesota they're already losing their frost for the year yeah you know, so that, that means for me for testing and stuff, Yeah, that means mud's coming really soon. That's yeah. super cool, you know, and, yeah. and to be this close to done, a lot of times, most of these trucks aren't this close to done until May. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's, it's cool that you, we, we did have the mild winter for a, a, a build that you can wheel in and out of the shop and yeah <laughs> you know yeah i mean it helped like my work was slow so they were cool with me taking time off and busting this out you know so it right helped a lot because you know it's hard yeah. to do it all yeah you know, with the family and everything and work and shit. sure but yeah yeah it's been a ride so far heck yeah <laughs> well we're glad we finally got a chance to meet you appreciate yeah. your time appreciate it thanks for coming out right on remember it's all about the experience mm -hmm.